Hello, and welcome back to Are You Serious? Well, you requested it, and we're doing it. We've got Trailer Trash Tammy and her husband, Daryl, doing a mukbang from the car, Nashville Hot Chicken. Not just any Nashville Hot Chicken, though. Oh, no. And we have Lisa V to thank for this. Lisa V made the suggestion, and uh, Lola Loves Me backed her up, so we're going to do it. Now, Trailer Trash Tammy is actually a comedian. Um, I think lady comedians just want to be called comedians now, right? <laughs> I'm back from the Lily Tomlin age, you know? She was my favorite comedian. Her real name is, well, she goes by Chelsea Lynn is her stage name. And this is kind of a character that she plays, Trailer Trash Tammy. It's hilarious. This, I believe this is her real husband, Daryl. I used to watch her years ago, and she's still doing it. So they are getting Nashville hot chicken from Prince's Hot Chicken today. Hey, guys. Tammy here. And I got Daryl with me. My baby's here visiting me, me here in Nashville. <laughs> and we thought, hey... Let's mukbang, okay? And since we're... Why couldn't we see any of that from, uh, you know who? Not allowed. We're in Nashville. You know what we had to get? It's, uh, here's a staple. Nashville hot chicken, okay? Ooh. But not just any hot chicken. Mm -mm. I heard it's the original. The place that started it all, Prince's Hot Chicken. I have yet to try it. My baby went in and ordered us some food, and we're going to give it a go. Let's do it. Now, uh, before we get started, uh, you guys did ask a lot of really great questions on Instagram. We're going to answer those. All right. <laughs> Was that some kind of dissociation or what? Give Wait, some nap. Oh, I'm ready to dig in. My baby got a sweet teas. Ooh. Now listen, these are little. <laughs> Hold it closer. Why are we quiet? Shh. Okay. These are little. Okay. I told my baby to get me a large. He said this is the only size they have. Um, so right off the bat. Well, I'm well, maybe he doesn't want you to have diabetes. It could be consider that. Maybe why you got you a small size not happy but i'm gonna try to be optimistic here okay i'm gonna try to be optimistic baby okay we got lots of uh sauces salt ranch and and honey mustards for our chicken okay. we got lots of little sides here are these our little sides what is this oh, pickles. The pickles okay open that up that. pickles show them the pickles baby Oh, real pickles, not Kuwaiti pickles. Pickles, well, you know. Good job. Pickles are pickles, okay. right? So first off, you know what I mean. Pickles as we know them in the West. Here's my beans. They come in really little size. That's all you got. I mean, that's a sauce cup. I'm trying to be optimistic here. Mm. I'm trying to be optimistic here. That's all the mac and cheese we got. This was fifty damn dollars. Oh wow! Mm. Legendary. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Open that up. I guess I should have looked at the size. Ooh. What'd you uh, get? Greens? Your greens. Greens. Greens, beans, tomatoes. Mmm. Mm. Okay. There's another little uh uh mac and cheese there. It's a little one. Hold on. We're opening everything up here. We're mm. gonna get cold. I got my cold slaw. Right. Oh yeah. Got my cold slaw there. All right. Okay. Forks, baby. Okay. What the hell? They, they didn't give us no plates or nothing. Would you say oh eat it like that? There's my tenders. Oh. Are, are those your tenders or mine? I don't know. Did you get tenders? No, I didn't get tenders. Then they're mine. Those are yours? These are my tenders. Oh, wow. I got those miles. Those look really hot. Okay. That's the pointing thing. <laughs> and then here's your chicken. My, you know my baby had to get hot. My mouth is burning. My baby had to get hot. Well, hold on, baby, before we dig in. All right. Let's answer a question. Okay. 
Okay, y'all asked some really good questions on Instagram. I'm going to get them here. Yeah, oh. she's going to do a Q&A, too, while they eat. I mean, this is, a, this is a great mukbang so far. Like, I'm engaged in the content. I feel like there's something happening. Excellent. Okay, starting off. You ready? This is for you, baby. Tammy. Daryl. Daryl. Do you ever question some of the things Tammy does? <laughs> No. <laughs> My baby supports me. <laughs> My baby supports everything I do. It's way too. Trying to question the things that she don't do. <laughs> oh. I do it. No, baby, I do it. Every, I do everything you ask me to. Every once in a while. Oh. All right, let's dig into the chicken here. <laughs> you want to take a bite of yours first, and then I'll take yeah. a bite of mine. Yeah. Listen, I got mild. This shit looks hot. Yeah, it does. It does look like right. <laughs> Ain't no joke about it. All right, here we go. Okay. Mm, it looks tender. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Woo! Uh, it's good. I um. I don't know if you watched uh, Sansa Cooks put out a video. <laughs> Uh, I love her content. So I'm, I'm, you know, if you haven't seen it, she does like a little bit of a like a comparison about like what a real quality mukbang is with like the elements of it compared to some that we've seen that haven't been that great and she says you know it's a lot focus is on how good the food looks how it might taste and then like it's 50 50 50 percent the talent on the screen you know doing what they do and 50 percent the food and how it's um you know, you're, you want to, the food should be appealing. You should want to eat it. And I'm looking at that and I'm not, I don't like, um, I like spicy things, but I don't like hot things. You know what I mean? Like some, some things just aren't spicy. They're just plain hot. I don't like that. So I was thinking, oh, I don't know if I'd like this, but that actually looks really good. Like maybe I'd scrape off. I don't know. She said she got mild though. I don't know. It looks really good. It's got some meat to it. Is it hot? Yeah, it is hot. Could you go hotter? Yeah, I could go hotter. Do they have like a double X, triple X? Mine's pretty hot. <laughs> For mild. Mine's pretty hot. Check out that tender. Baby. Tap it. Tap it for me. Mm. They have a light mild the next time. Mm. That's where I should get you, but. Lose them. It is hot and fresh. I'll give them that. Yeah. I'll give them that. I'm not done eating mine. This is good. I'm gonna put some ranch on there. Do I need to answer another question? I'll let you know. <laughs> well, sorry. I control the questions, baby. How, how many mukbangs have we done together? He asks every time like it's the first time he's done a mukbang. Baby, you're so cute. All right, here's my mac and cheese and my little baby cup. Oh, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Okay. Should be. 100 years. Mmm. It's cold. No. <clears throat> it's like a cold mac and cheese. What? I ain't never had that. Like a pasta salad? Hmm. <clears throat> Should we go ask him about it? Maybe they serve it cold. Oh, my lights just flickered. We have like a huge downpour right now. I don't even know if you can hear it. Like, but yeah, my lights just flickered. Um, maybe they serve it cold to like to tone down the heat of the chicken if you got one that's too hot. Huh? huh. <laughs> my baby knows how to lick something clean. That's you for sure. You suck the meat off the bone. That's yeah, what you gotta do. I guess. My baby licks shit clean. I'm trying to give you a little idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go. Suck the meat off the bone. <laughs> wow. <All right. laughs> Mac and cheese. <laughs> Five out of ten. Right. Mm. It's cold. Mm. Does it have at least a good flavor? Yeah, it's good, but it's not like mind blowing. All right. Another question before I dig in. Okay. Tammy. Nashville has no sand. What the fuck are you going to do, Daryl? Hey, okay, if you guys are unaware of that question, you know, I just we just moved to Nashville. Daryl's oh. still right now in San Diego. 
We moved to San Diego about 10 years ago so Daryl could follow his sandcastle building dreams. Okay. Oh. Never. Oh, everybody was wanting to know, now that we're moving, what are you going to do, baby? It's coming to realization I'd really, really succeed like I thought I would. Oh. So I'm going to... Broken dreams. I'm gonna you didn't to... succeed in sandcastle building like you thought you would. Right. He would... He thought by now, 10 years in, he'd be pro. Yeah, I mean, yeah. semi-pro. I'm just Joe Schmo Aww. of the Sandcastle world. I'm going to have to look at other endeavors. Well, you know, they could always drive to South Carolina or North Carolina. No, North Carolina probably would be the, yeah, it's directly east of Tennessee. Yeah, they could drive to North Carolina. Don't they have some decent beaches? I've been to the coast. of. I've been to Nashville, actually, a couple times. Um, been to uh, the coast of North Carolina a couple times. But I've never tried hot chicken, ever. He could, he could drive out to one of those beaches. You know, the, you know what I noticed out here? I am going to miss it a lot. What? There's a lot of leaves. Has anybody ever thought about building leaf castles? Maybe I never heard of that. That could you could be on something. You could be starting a revolution. And you know I've always been supportive of you. Everything, I, everything you've wanted, you've been wanting to do. I've always been supportive of you. Of you. What a nice I, couple, huh? Supporting each other in their dreams. That's fantastic. You know, and if he gets started on the leaf building cast, if the leaf castle, like he's probably going to be the first one to do it, so he can perfect it before he goes public with it. And he'll already be the best at it, you know? That's why I moved to California for you, baby. Yeah. So you can do your yeah. cane castles. And baby, come here. Aww. I love you for that. Oh, baby. Absolutely. I think I'm going to give it a try. Okay. I Okay, they're playing like some roles right here, right? But you can see, right? Right? I can see how much love there is between them. Even though they're like play acting, you know? I can see it. Leaf building? Leaf building. Maybe I think anything's possible. But just know, they also got lakes around here. That's got dirt. Dirt okay. castles. <laughs> dirt castles. Dirt castles. You can do whatever. You can, build, you can build a castle out of anything. Mud castles. Right? Yeah. Literally, if you think about it. Yeah. There's nothing holding you back but yourself. That's right. All right, true. here's the ranch. Self-limiting beliefs, you know? Yeah, that's so true. It's usually ourselves that get in our own way, right? Ready? Watch this. Mm. Watch. Y'all watching? Oh, that looks good. Do you guys like ranch dressing? Mmm. Mm-hmm. For me, like, well, like I said, I don't eat hot wings or any, you know, like that kind of stuff. But, like, I know, like, they'll give you ranch or blue trees dressing or something to have with it. But, like, if I'm having a salad, ranch, like, I don't mind it, but it wouldn't be my first choice. But some people are, like, really into ranch, you know? I'm going to have to dig okay. into this. Ranch takes it to another level. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Can I have a little try? Uh-huh. Ooh, look at that. There's my little bread it comes with. Ooh. Mm. I'm going to stick it in there. Ooh. I'm gonna stick a couple sli slices of pickle on there. Okay. Here's the collard greens. Are those cool? Plus oh. they have pork in them, they said. Uh -oh. uh -huh. Ham. Ham, yeah. It's just cold too. Cold? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna try my little sandwich here. Hmm. Pants are great. Mm. Cold greens. Mmm. I mean. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. It's got a hell of a flavor. Mm. Like, I'd get them again. Yeah, I'd prefer them more. Heat them up. Yeah. Let's take a thumbnail, baby. Here, hold up your chicken. Get a thumbnail. Are you going to do chicken or? <laughs> Don't cover your face, baby. <laughs> got it. Did you guys know when you're creating thumbnails, if you ever have a channel or whatever, they say it is, um, and like they do tests on all this stuff. You know, they they do tests. And if you have if you have someone's expressive face face on a thumbnail, it tends to get more clicks. It does. So if you have a chance, and even like you know, that's why like um, you know, like reaction channels might put Chantal's face on the thumbnail, even if they don't go. Um, 
even if they don't go on camera themselves. Now, my I hope that my little owl here takes the place of my face because it's he's generally very um yeah, and I think he is a he. I think he identifies as a he. I see him as a he. I think he I, I think he he's just like He's cute, he's cheerful, but you can also see, if you look very deeply into those yellow eyes, that he will cut a bitch if he needs to. And I feel like this owl just, just represents me so fully. I'd like to share with you a little bit about the history of Prince's Hot Chicken. They say, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And boy, isn't that true. But some folks like a little heat including Thornton Prince, the father of Nashville's hot chicken. Even in the height of the Great Depression, Thornton Prince knew how to have a good time. He enjoyed the nightlife and had a well-earned reputation as being quite the ladies' man. Of course, one person who was not too thrilled with that reputation was his steady girl. Ooh. While we don't know if Prince came home one night with a faint hint of perfume, or a smudge of lipstick on his collar, we do know that after one of Prince's nights out, his scorned lover wanted revenge. And using Prince's love of fried chicken as bait, she concocted the perfect recipe. Instead of a lecture the next morning, Prince awoke to the sizzling smell of fried chicken. The trap set, Prince's jilted lover served up a plate of homemade fried chicken. Without noticing the devilish amount of peppers and spices she had sprinkled on the chicken, Prince dug in. Much to her dismay, Prince didn't fall over weeping in pain. Nope, he asked for seconds. And at that moment, the legend was born. Prince perfected the recipe for hot chicken and opened up a restaurant, Prince's Hot Chicken Check. After 100 years later, a lot has changed in Nashville, but not Prince's. Thornton Prince's great niece, Ms. Andre Prince Jeffries, is still serving the legendary dish that Nashvillians crave. In the last few years, the hot chicken trend has caught on like wildfire throughout the South, but Prince's hot chicken is the original and remains the gold standard for hot chicken. Listen, if you don't like spice, I usually get mild and I'm good, but this is fucking hot. <laughs> it's, it's hitting it. Mm-hmm. Woo! Are you gonna be hurting later on? We gotta clean your face. Uh, what do you think I'm doing? I didn't see it. I was just focused on all that hot. Mmm. <laughs> mm. After I eat half of it. Okay. Now I feel like these eating sounds, like we're not hearing the slurping and the, you know, but we're hearing like, when they're saying like, mmm. It sounds like they're really enjoying it, right? It doesn't sound fake. Mm. Actually, it's pretty good. Just, mm. Chicken's got a great flavor. Mac and cheese is good. It's hot cold. Yeah. Let me try the beans here. I got beans. I hope those aren't cold. They're lukewarm. Mm. But these are fucking good. They are good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, those are good. Here we go. Show them, babe. I'm making me a little, little sandwich. All right, I'm going to try my so cold slaw. Chicken oh, he and got a pickle. Chicken on the bone. I'm gonna try my cold slaw and then I'm gonna answer another question. Their cold slaw is very creamy. Mm. <laughs> very creamy. Watch that. That's the only, that ain't the only thing that's creamy in this car. Oh! Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm. Ooh! That's sweet. KFC. Really? Mm hmm. It tastes almost just like it. 
Oh, let's answer another question. Alright. Okay. Tammy! Does Daryl do anything annoying to ruin your nut? I'm gonna say no, because baby, you're never in the room with me when I nut. <laughs> Daryl's never there. Oh my god. So he don't ever ruin my nuts. He's always gone or something. I never I've never been able to do that for you. Maybe maybe once or twice in the early days. In the early days. But he's never there. <laughs> so you don't ruin my nuts. What about that time I put you up against the air compressor? You howled and moaned like I never heard you before. Maybe that's because I was in pain. Because the air compressor. I wasn't coming. <laughs> I was howling in pain. Oh my God. Now that you mentioned my it. My thigh you... was squeezed between the air compressor and the wall. And I was howling because I was trying to squirm out. Now that you mention it. <laughs> You did puff up a little bit. I puffed up big time. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's okay, baby. That's okay. <laughs> oh, this oh, is another... Yeah. What? <gasps> Be careful! Oh. Be careful! Are you okay? <laughs> you just suck my tooth. At least, we're not eating potatoes here, are we? I hope there's not a potato in there somewhere. Baby! They're almost died. And you guys just witness it here. And I don't blame Princess. No, it's my own. I blame my baby for seeing a toothpick sticking out of a chicken and chomping on it anyway. <laughs> Y'all see what I gotta deal with day to day? Maybe that's why I've never been present for your nut. Oh. Exactly. I do, I do dumb shit. <sighs> baby, at least you know it. That's true. Knowing is half the battle, you know? It really is. Like if you're if you've got like let's say instead of fried chicken this was a seafood boil right, and you're just like like throwing it down, and you know you don't really chew that much anyway, but like you're really excited about it, so you just like start swallowing like whole little potatoes, you know, like you know, because that's something that you're working on as a grown ass adult learning how to chew more before you swallow something that's being worked on i mean you know to me this is half the battle like okay yeah you bit into a toothpick but you know you pulled it out immediately and uh you said you do dumb shit sometimes and yeah everybody does you know Finish off my little little sandwich i made here mm. there's hard piece chicken mm. okay <clears throat> so you don't like your chicken like you like your cock That was a good one. Okay. Mm. He means rooster, okay? Mmm. Daryl! Mm -hmm. What do you do in your free time when you and Tammy are apart? <clears throat> oh, man. I'm under the hood of something. Usually four wheels, not two legs. Oh. <laughs> Walk around, baby. Thank you. Oh, okay. What else, baby? They want to know. We went from domination and submission to, you know, from a real creepy person trying to establish a business on OnlyFans. But, you know, we go from that. Like, it was just a total, it was ick, ick factor all over that right and now we've got this wholesome married couple who admit to being able to touch each other you know we see the love between them the chemistry between them right so it's like yeah you know we're we for some reason we're still in that you know we're still in the bedroom yeah you know, i didn't watch this beforehand i probably should have but <laughs> you know i don't care i'm not gonna stop uh yeah so you know even though it's like we're still in the bedroom, but I feel like this is such a different vibe, right? So different. All right, fishing. He loves fishing. Hunting. And my baby's gonna have his own YouTube channel soon. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I'll be on the lookout for that. On his YouTube channel, he's gonna be hunting and fishing and working on cars and racing and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Right. Just living my life. I look forward to it. I really like it. I mean, comment below. 
let me know what you like. See? A little spicy. Are you all right, baby? Okay. Man, man. Let's answer another question. They soak up all the hot in the bread. Mm -hmm. Oh. <clears throat> Tammy, how's the food? <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Food's pretty good. I thought it would be better because oh. of the hype. Mm. But I think Hattie B's is better. Mm. I think Hattie B's has better sides. I think Hattie's, Hattie B's chicken tastes better. <clears throat> um... If someone was coming to town, they go, hey, let's go have hot chicken. I'd go to Hattie B's. Over Princess, what do you think? I like the chicken. It's been a while since I've had Hattie B's. Um, the, the things that kind of got me mind blown was the cold, the cold sides. Yeah. And the little sides. Girl, they're, they're tiny. Mm. That's wild. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, it's good. Don't I mean? Do not get me wrong. Right. If you've never tried it, I'd come, come back. try. It. I'd come back. If you love it and it's your thing, hell right. yeah. Or not. Right. So after we watch them eat, we're gonna take a look at the menu. It is it is pretty interesting. Like everything that you, all the selections available. Oh great. I mean, think about it. It's probably got its loyalists that are mm -hmm. like, hey, this is the original. This is my spot. Oh yeah. Um, for that, hey, do you, man? It is hot. Mmm. I ain't no lie. Mmm. Let me ask you another question. Yeah. You may read one. There's only one left. Oh really? There's only one left, baby. Mmm. All right. Ooh. A lot of questions about your sandcastle building. <laughs> Daryl. Did I leave? the hardest part of breaking into the world of pro sandcastle building <laughs> as, as you guys know we just talked about how he really couldn't break into that world it's taking 10 years and i still haven't yeah but what's been the hardest part baby i just don't have the right consistency mm. i don't know if like sandcastle building is not just it's not big in southern california do what the fuck Add to the phone is a ringtone. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> she goes all in for her character. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think that was the guy that was been trying to get me into the sandcastle building uh -oh. from amateur to pro. Oh, babe, no, it wasn't. Could be. Answer it. No, no, baby. No, here's what I think. Here's what I think. Daryl has not made it into pro yet. I think nobody's giving him a chance. Yeah. Because I've seen his talents. It's gatekeeping. It's gatekeeping. The Sandcastle community, the pros, you know, the ones that have been around for like six months to a year, they're not giving him a chance. You know? Maybe he was on the outskirts for 10 years, like in a slightly adjacent community, and he wanted to get into... The sandcastle, like the legit sandcastle community. And they're not giving him a chance. I agree with her. And that motherfucker can build a sandcastle. Yeah, he can. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, he looks like he can. Imagine him on the beach in his little speedo. Mm -hmm, yeah. Going to town, taking it seriously. I've, I've witnessed that. I've seen it. his passion. Mm -hmm. I pack it hard. He yeah. packs it hard. Yeah. I put it in deep. <laughs> he puts it in deep. Just a little too close to the water. Aww. Always too close to the water, baby. Aww. That's the that's the big problem. But I was told you have to keep it wet. Yeah, you do. And then, you know, professional sandcastle castle uh people will come by, like scouts. Yeah. We go through all these emails of scouts. I say, come look at my baby, come look at what he can do. They'll come and they'll take one look and they'll say, amateur. Wow. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I don't think so. I have fought a lot of motherfuckers talking down to my baby in his sandcastle building, saying he's amateur. Mm. Well, I know how important it is to you, baby. Yeah. I you appreciate see some pictures you. Of sandcastles? <laughs> you do. You just gotta find a new passion. 
you know, maybe you can do sandcastle building for fun, you know, or maybe I can get you one of those little, I may build a sandbox at home for you. Perfect. I guarantee you you want to use it. Well, you'll have to keep them out of it. I'll build you a little sandbox and you can go out there just for fun when you want to just put your hands in something. There you go. I like to put my hands in something about right now. <laughs> what? Your chicken. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> He's always eating my food. That's for sure. Mm. Can you put a little ranch on I there? sure can, baby. My baby's always eating my food. Look, he finished his chicken. And, and what do you know? Wanting mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. How is it? That's pretty good. Good? Mm-hmm. What do you like better, mine or yours? Mine. Yeah. Mm. Princess is great. I'd come back. Yeah. I would. If I was eating in the in the establishment, I'd ask them about their yeah their sides. Yeah. What would you go up there and say? Let's say I'm the worker. Hey, sir. What can I get for you? Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. I had gotten a to-go order, and your, all your sides were cold. Is your is your cold slaw and your greens and baked beans and mac all supposed to be cold? Yeah, sure. Everything comes cold. <laughs> Do you think I'm missing out on something with it being cold instead of warm? I can't answer that for you. You know, it'd be like you know having having your wife, and you preferred her when she was warm. Oh my god. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna have to blur I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to edit that out. So um it, my video could even get taken down for well, their video's up. So I don't know. But I'm gonna take it out anyway because just the topic is just like it goes way too far for me. But he's saying like when a body is warm and then when it goes cold. Okay. Baby. Okay. Never mind. No. No. Eat the chicken, baby. Anyway. Mm. The beans are good. The beans are my favorite side. I haven't tried them yet. Is there some left? Yes, baby. Here. There you go. And one thing I didn't like. Mm. Oh. You had to pay for your side of pickles. And I didn't like that. Mm. The condiments should come free. Yeah. Really? Little things oh. like pickles, they cost nothing. Go ahead. The condiment should come free. Yeah. I've always said that. I need to slap it on the side of my fucking car. Yeah, that would be a bumper sticker. You know, but I want to make a big, like a like a wrap. <laughs> you know, and just say, and just say, hey, the condiments come free, or hey, the condiments need to come free. Right. Why are you pay? Why are you charging people for a side of pickles and sauces? Make that make sense, Daryl. Sauces are a dollar each. It don't, no, baby. No, it, it don't. I, I don't know even if I can make sense of that, and I make sense of a lot of stuff. And you do, and it don't. Oh man. I'm about to get. I'm calm down, Tammy. Calm down. Hey, my baby. <laughs> Take another bite of chicken. I will, baby. I will, baby. Oh, and people are always wanting a skullet update from Daryl. Show them. Get a cup. So, you know what? Get down lower. Okay, there's a skullet update. Now, listen. Listen. This summer, I'm cutting it into a rat tail. Oh. <laughs> He's letting me. And I told him. It doesn't look like he wants that. A skullet. Not a mullet. A skullet. I kind of thought that maybe this was like a hair piece, like that maybe because like to me with like the short hair and the beard, right? And without the long hair, he looks like a software engineer. <laughs> he does <laughs> to me. And so I thought that maybe this was like a hair piece that he just kind of like sticks on the back, like for the for the videos. But like when he just put his hair down, like and when he put his head down, you could see it's it's real. This is the length of his hair right now. Scoot up. Let me show. It's about right there. So go about mid back. See, see right there. 
I said, when I cut it into a rat tail, I want it down to your ass. You need to dedicate this years of the rat tail. Might as well. Mother told me he would. If you're gonna commit, go all in. What? That could be considered a crime of passion. Huh? Oh. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh. We were doing something that made me agree to it. Huh? Oh, so now you're telling people I'm forcing you to do it? You yeah, didn't force me. I agree. You just use that reverse psychology. <laughs> what do you mean I use reverse psychology? I said, baby, you were saying you wanted to cut your skull because it gets hot in the summer. And I said, I baby, and I said, baby, you know what would make it cooler? Like <laughs> air wise? If you had a rat tail. Because you ain't got to worry about the whole head or just, you know, this part's bald. The whole head. What about it just back in a ponytail? So it's not like hanging all around his neck. <laughs> Being full of hair, you only got one little spot. Right. Right. And you agreed to it, and now you're saying that I'm reverse psychology in you? <laughs> you're smart. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. It's the question for me when I'm right 100% of the time. We agreed earlier it was 98%. Yeah. Daryl was telling me earlier, he goes, I don't know why. I don't listen to you. You're right 98% of the time. I said, yeah. <laughs> I, I am. The problem is it's that 2%. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty painful. You got to be into some shit. Baby, you, you get your own self into shit. Let's don't get started there. You going to blame me for your last arrest? Oh. No. Exactly. But uh, let's be real. I did it because of you. Okay. Oh. We don't got to get into that. We're still uh, under investigation. Okay. Yeah. All right. One more pickle for me. Stay quiet. Mmm. This was good. Yep. Boom. Oh, I haven't tried the coleslaw yet. I give the whole meal five out of ten. Really? Yeah. I was thinking about a six and a half. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, five out of ten. All right, baby, show them your little bones. Look, he's eating the rib cage of the look look at his little bones. Yeah. Yeah. You don't eat your chicken unless it looks like that after. Yeah. No, you're you're skimping. You're skimping. You're doing the chicken a disservice. My baby sucks on those rib bones. And your belly. My baby sucks on those rib mm -hmm. bones. <laughs> Alright guys, um We are going to do more mukbangs before Daryl goes back to San Diego. Okay, and we are going to do mukbangs for Patreon as well. All right. So if you're part of the exclusive mukbang club, <laughs> be on the lookout. You will be getting new mukbangs. Nice. On Patreon, I'm calling it the exclusive mukbang club. Are they awesome. a naughty? No. Oh. Huh? The OnlyFans mukbang club. Maybe they're just mukbangs. Oh. What makes them naughty? The bang. I don't know. Where do you put the chicken bones? <laughs> Baby, come on now. Damn. Oh, my baby needs a turkey leg. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys, please go uh, join the official muck, uh, exclusive mukbang club down below. On it's, Patreon. It's only 16 cents a day. Oh. Uh, hey, take note. 16 cents per day. Unlike $50 a month, that's well over a dollar a day. 16 cents a day. I mean, that's less than a cup of coffee. Um, I'll go follow my vlog channel. I'll be doing cooking videos. What else? Going on tour. Hey, I got a lot going on. My baby, she stayed there. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> go down below. Click on my stuff. And you know, anything you want to say, baby? You're grossing everybody out. Anything you want to say? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, well, we love you. Appreciate you. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And, All right. Uh, comment below. Because I, I read them. Oh, he loves reading the comments. I do. I do. We love you. <laughs> and I uh, hope everyone uh, has a wonderful... Where y'all want to see us eat next? Day. Let us know. Let us know where you want to see us eat. All right? Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so here is the menu. Okay, this is page one of the menu. Prince's Hot Chicken. Hot Chicken Shack. South. Um, so look at all the flavors, plain, light, mild, mild, medium, hot, extra hot, 
double extra hot, triple extra hot. Um, now, I wonder how, like, the staff describes to you how hot each one is, you know? Like, do they have a way of, like, you know, explaining it? So you can get a whole chicken is $28. Wow. Okay. Half a chicken, $14. Breast quarter, $7.50. Leg quarter, $6.50. Three whole wings, seven twenty-five. Four tenders, seven eighty-five. A chicken salad, seven fifty. Kids meal has two tenders, fries, and a drink for six fifty. That seems reasonable. Now the sides, right? So this is those tiny little sides that they got. Um, baked beans, two dollars and fifty cents for that little cup, and it does have pork in it. Coleslaw, two dollars. I mean, coleslaw is dirt cheap. The cabbage think of you know get it girl greens two dollars fifty cents includes turkey mac and cheese 250 for that little cup potato salad two dollars and seasons seasoned fries two dollars seventy five cents then you can get each side as a pint and they range between six dollars and six seventy five these are all u.s dollars a water is four dollars so you're eating like you're like yeah i'll get the triple extra hot i can handle it i can do it and you're like oh my god i need some water and they're like four bucks like four bucks for a bottle of water yep <laughs> like they know you're gonna if you need it you need it fountain drinks 250 bottle drinks 250 um a tea 250 a gallon of tea is ten dollars and like i was saying the sides like the um the sauces a dollar each just like those little packets a cup of pickles a dollar um slice of bread 50 cents they get desserts pies cakes three dollars cake for 25 you can buy a whole pie for 15 dollars then they have like a catering menu you know like 25 tenders is 49 dollars wow yeah it's basically $2 a tender. You can get 100 tenders for $196. I mean, they didn't look skimpy, right? Like, they looked like they were a good size. Yeah. Small pan of mac and cheese, $16.50. They also serve beer, if you're interested. Draft beer is 5 bucks. Bottled beer, they're all $5. You can buy a t-shirt for $15, and gift cards are available. So, have you ever had Prince's Hot Chicken? in Tennessee. Do you like hot chicken? Period. I mean, you know, I've heard about these Nashies. So I mean, I don't know. I can't imagine a Nashie from a, a fast food restaurant is going to be compared to something like this, you know, but hey, you know, who am I to say? All right, everyone, let me know if you enjoyed this video. If, um, if you have any other suggestions, I do have creators in mind that I would like to react to for sure. Um, Chantal is just like snooze fest at this point. So I just, you know, it's not fun for anybody. <laughs> it's not anymore. So, so we're moving on and I'll let you know when something happens and, you know, we'll cover that. Like I'll keep tabs on it. You know, if she shows up in Canada tomorrow, of course, I'm going to, you know, we're going to react to it for sure. But, um, yeah, if we just continue on with these, like, depressing, dull, you know, eating sandwiches, talking about a hamster. Yeah, I think we're good with that. We're good for a while. All right, everyone, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.